So you're an Avenger now. That's kind of amazing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. How does it feel? It feels great. My kids are so excited about it. I'm gonna, they're going to see it next week, and I'm really excited for them. Yeah, I bet. That must be insane. I can't even imagine seeing your dad, <clears throat> excuse me, as a, yeah, a robot Avenger. Yeah, they're pretty thrilled. Yeah, I bet. And so how was it? I mean, obviously you've been doing voice work in the, in the Marvel movies for years and years. I, yeah. yeah. Uh, how was it going to the sort of on-screen... It's all a double-edged sword, you know. It was fantastic. I, I would turn up and uh, when I was Jarvis, I would turn up at, right at the end, um, and I would work for two hours, and they'd give me a big bag of cash, which seemed to me impossible to beat, really. Um, and now they want me to work for my money, if you can, in fact, call it working. Um, but it's, um, it, it, you know, it was great to finally sort of be on set with these people that you've been working with for 10 years but never actually met. How long did it take to become the vision? It looked like it would be... Well, it was about six months of makeup tests, figuring out what their... I was about to say what their vision for the vision was, <laughs> but I realised that's a terrible that, sentence. Like... Um, what their vision for the vision was, and they did that. But the, the, the makeup and costume itself was about three hours. And I remember you saying that originally you, you hadn't seen many of the Marvel movies when you were in them just doing the voices. Did you have a lot of, like, homework to...? Yes, I spoke to the guy that, that, that made and cut that interview, because actually what I said was, um, oh, I haven't seen them, but then I don't see... I practically don't see any of the movies that I'm in, so, um, but he managed to cut that bit of it off and just leave it at, oh, I've never seen I just, uh, I The Iron Man. Yeah. Um, so, but I have, I have now, and I've seen, you know, all of them, and, and it was, it was, it's a great, there's a wealth of, uh, uh, it's like homework, it's, and it's kind of fun homework. Must be. And so, I guess you can't say anything really about what's coming next, except that it's clear that you are going to be involved more in the future. I, I'm, a, I'm allowed to say the character continues. Excellent. That's what I'm allowed to say. Fair enough. And are you, I mean, most of the actors need to be contracted for forever. Are you contracted for a certain number of movies, or are you just kind of ad hoc? I'm simply not allowed to say. You, I can understand why you want to ask that question. You can <laughs> probably understand why I don't want to answer it. <laughs> no, the, it, it. The grounds being that I'd like to keep my job. Which is which is fair. Which Thank you very fair. much. Yeah. So working with James Spader, it's uh, it's a kind of an interesting side to the to the film. It's this sci-fi um, sort of metaphysical aspect, I guess. So how was it developing those scenes, you guys? So it was so easy. I was um, thinking about it the other day. It was one of my favourite scenes. Is one one of the last scenes with James and I, and, it, and it's sort of like a father son scene with the, between this purple, you know, android and or. Uh, Synthesoid, whatever it is, and uh, I was purple, and James was in a fractal suit with these this strange head contraption that had headlights and cameras filming him, filming his face as he moved, and uh, all of it fell away, and you're just left with an actor's eyes, and he's he's really compelling, and it was it was it was it all you you forget about it all, and it just became a a father-son moment. I did visit the <clears throat> the set at Pinewood and it's, it is bizarre sort of how different it seems, how much smaller it seems when you're, I don't know, there versus what it looks like on the screen. I mean, Did you think, because I thought that they were the biggest sets I'd ever seen in my life. <laughs> they were, yeah, I suppose you're right. I guess it's like, because there was a lot of green screen in the scenes I was seeing and so, yeah. you know, it was just the kind of, hot, like the um, the craft, I forget the name of the Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, was it, I mean, Quinjet. seeing it, Thank you, the Quinjet. Seeing it on the big screen, was there anything that did surprise you in terms oh, of how it turned uh, out? All, 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 all the time. I mean, I did a scene with James that was in, a, we shot it in a car park, and it's in a forest in the movie. I mean, it's amazing what they do. Yeah, was that the final scene, the one that the... It is the final scene. Yeah, yeah. but in a car park, wow.